bush. They just remove me then. Shit. Be like you're blocked. Fuck a block. Just remove me. I don't even want all these groups. So many groups. Maybe I can't share the groups. Just keep saying I'm blocked. I'm going to keep pressing the share button. <laughs> Peace, fam. <laughs> I don't think I can share. Oh, wait. We got more options. <clears throat> Says I was going too fast. You know what? That seems like it's been my problem in life. Things just can't keep up. So, uh, today's video. Do you see your reality? Or is your reality what you see? Would you think that's the same thing? Q, don't be hitting me with them play on words. Or ask that question. Is it the same? What's y'all take on what I'm, I'm about to talk about right now? All right, I'm over it. Fuck it. It's like, no, you can't share. What's good, Tony, Erica, Mike, Sunshine, Leah? Co I don't, man, I'm end up saying y'all names wrong. It'd be disrespectful. Kyle, Melia, Miss Howard. Tyra, all right, I'm about to get going. So, uh, before I get so, hmm, what's the key word in what I'm saying? I'm using reality twice, right? That's that's something I want y'all to pay attention to. And then I'm also talking about uh, two forms of seeing. You see your reality. Your reality is what you see. All right. You wonder if there's two realities. I, Zirin said perception. Life is an illusion. Life is what you, what you create it to be. So that's kind of like what I say. Uh, this is a simulation simulating you. So how is it simulating you? What is the simulation using to simulate you? Well, that would be called your body. And it is your body that is kind of projecting this simulation or simulated you. So, we're talking about your mind. This is a simulation, this is your mind, that is simulating you. So your mind is using a simulation to simulate you. All right, now let's get into it. So I had one person sign up for um, master courses to uh, learn how to do regressions. Um, I guess as soon as I started talking about it, uh, I, I didn't even launch it yet, but I can start talking about it and people started sending interest. So I did one, one client today and kind of um, helped him understand something. And I wasn't even really getting into the whole procedure yet of teaching him how to do it. I just needed him to understand something. I said, in order for you to do this, young man, because it, it, it was a man, I'm starting to... Y'all assholes. They always cutting this off. Always cutting this off. So I said, uh, young man, in order for you to process a new template, regression is something new. College, that's something new. Childbirth, that's something new. In order to, to usher in something new, you have to make sure you're ushering it in in the right polarities. Well, what are the two polarities that we use in our body? So let's slow down, let's see that. See how many y'all with me. What's the two polarities we use in this thing you call the body? What up, Devon? Y'all want me to just answer. So the two polarities that you use inside of your body, one would be what you call an electro field. 
The other would be a magnetic field. So what are the two poles that you use in your body? The electro field, the magnetic field, and then it produces something on your body called the electromagnetic field. That's what science calls it. Y'all call it an aura. So then it produces an aura, which would be the third. Because aura is light. So aura, read the aura. Hold on, I'm about to cool the phone down. Hold on, it's already overheating. Let me turn some of these apps off. Yeah, give and receive, all that. Y'all understand the two polarities we use, mother, father. Remember, it produces something else. You call that organ energy. You call that the child. What will be the byproduct of electromagnetism? You call that plasma. You call that ether. There's different words we can use for it. So, uh, I know, I know, I know. It was like... <sighs> Bear with me. This is, if not, the phone's going to shut off. All right. So look. So you're dealing with two poles. You're dealing with electric. You're dealing with magnetism. All right. So back to what I was saying. In order to produce anything new in life, you have to pay attention to how you're producing it. And how we're producing anything in this life is off of a duality, off of two systems that are really just one system. You, remember, you're just one system, but you're producing your one system off of two things. So I say you have to understand when you do regressions, you have to have two key components. In order to get anyone to resonate with you, to rock with you, to relate to you. These are the two systems that you need. I say you need confidence and you need trust. And I said this is how you're affecting the electromagnetic field of a person. By introducing your electromagnetic field and if your electromagnetic field is stronger than their electromagnetic field then your electromagnetic field can kind of affect their electromagnetic field let's use it in metaphysical terms if your aura was stronger than their aura then your aura can affect their aura what is your aura composed of of your heart and your mind of magnetism and electricity electric magnetic field all right so i said in order for you to get into this to deal with anyone's mind you're gonna have to kind of know the systems that the mind is using i said the mind is using electric electric electricity okay so then this will be your electric field and your heart is using magnetism. So then that would be your magnetic field. And uh, together, once again, you create an even greater field. You call it yourself. So confidence. Would confidence be a uh, an electric thing or a magnetic thing? Confidence. To have confidence in oneself. Is that magnetism or is that electric? Does confidence create a, a, a push or a pull? You say both. All right. 
Mary Magdalene, magnetism through the water. Oh yeah, you got that, Julian. You got that. Ooh, got that thing right there. <laughs> so to have confidence. <laughs> to have confidence. It would take support. To have confidence, you would have to be supportive. Yeah. Magnetic, magnetism. Let's wait, listen. Listen, listen. To have confidence, you have to have support. But the confidence is coming from another system called trust. But let me just, because I was explaining it with my client. You know, when I be in my mode, I be like super tuned in, super dialed in. So I'm just trying to get dialed in back into where I was at. But look, so confidence, confidence takes support. If you're not supported in the things that you did, then why or how would you be confident about them? If you weren't supported... And the things you did. Then how would you be confident about them? So where does support come from? Remember, an egg kind of supports you into this existence. That's magnetism. The woman kind of supports you into your existence. In essence, like your support would be the female, would be like the woman. So it would be like magnetism, confidence. What gives a what gives a man his confidence? Ooh, ooh. You so handsome, you so strong, confident. You think a woman needs a man's fucking confidence? Are you serious? They give birth. Fuck are you talking about? <laughs> a woman don't need your cosign. <laughs> a, a woman needs your energy, specifically your electricity. That is what the woman needs. They just go, damn, I should have just did that. Just knocked over the fucking cone. If y'all just go be disrespectful and just knock the shit over, I should have just knocked it over with y'all. Save me a whole 15 minutes going around the bend. Uh. All right, so confidence in essence is like a, a, a magnetic thing. While trust, it's a mental thing. It's the mind. I'm going to trust myself. Therefore, my body, which cannot decipher the difference between a thought and a dream, process. Because my body cannot decipher the difference between a thought and a dream. So your body's confidence is only based on the system of trust that you have in your mind or yourself. Do you trust the Father? Do you trust the electricity? Do you trust that if you don't pay your bills, the electricity is going to stay on? This is deep. This is trust. This is trust. So what I'm trying to explain is you're dealing with two realities. In you. The reality of the body. And the reality of the mind. The reality of the magnetic body or the magnetic field. And the reality of the electric mind or the electric field. Now... If y'all can grasp that, I can go a little further because I'm trying to go a little further and help y'all understand fields, grids. What the fuck are they talking about? What is that? What? Uh huh? Who? Hmm? Magnetism is a thing. Electricity is a thing. But if I don't have a magnet, how am I using magnetism? Magnetism is a thing. Electricity is a thing. But if I don't have a cell phone, how am I using the electricity? Once again, magnetism is a thing. It's an orb. It's a circle. It's a sphere. And it is a sphere of influence. 
it is influencing a sphere. What is a sphere? A space, love. A space. Please don't get lost. Do you understand how small spheres are? You got spheres on nano levels. Your goddamn cell is a sphere. Are you looking? Can you see your cells? It's a space, love. It's a space. But space has to go inside something. It's called a grid. It's called a field. So if a sphere isn't contained in a grid or field, then the sphere just keeps on spinning along. Like a rolling rock. Rolling in the deep. You ever did the, uh... Remember, everything is a cult. You ever did the game where you throw the little quarter down and it, like, spins... Until eventually it drops down in the hole That's kind of what we used to live like That was kind of what happened before we was in fields or grids The goddamn Milky Way system is a field Your goddamn body is a field You're hiding behind a field Field of dreams Goddamn right this is a field of dreams all kind of dreams all kind of thoughts because what the fuck is a dream it's a thought what the fuck is a dream a reality that that has not happened yet <laughs> i was talking to my client about deja vu you know when they when they pay for things i fucking go so hard but it's not just me it's the spirits honoring y'all praising y'all giving y'all so much information and they be like q why don't you be talking about this stuff I'd be like, chill, you know, chill, this is progression, take steps, take steps. Everyone hides behind a mask. Everyone. 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 Everyone hides behind a mask. Y'all all say y'all spirits having physical existences. Therefore, your real essence is a spirit, not the physical face that your spirit is residing in right now. Or spirits. So, uh... This came from, um... Someone asked me... How do you, what, what's, what's, what would be the, if you had to suggest a way of, uh, using sage, how would you do it? And I was like, well, I would have to affect the ele electromagnetic field of that sage because you're trying to have that sage affect your electromagnetic field, whether that's you or your home, which has magnetism. There are magnets in your home. Your, your refrigerator is a magnet. Your microwave is a magnet. Your cell phone is a magnet. Your home has tons of things charged the fuck up. Your home has an electromagnetic field. So do you. So some of you sage yourselves. Some of you sage your homes. And still don't even realize that they are one and the same. still don't realize <laughs> so this is what I'll say with the sage I said in order to affect the electromagnetic field of that sage which then would ultimately affect the electromagnetic field of you and your home you need to use the elements you need to associate yourself with the elements. Calling on the element of fire. And then light your flame. Calling on the element of earth. Light your sage. 
calling on the element of air. Allowing the sage smoke to resonate throughout your field in the field of your home. Calling on the element of water. Using the element of water to dice out the flame of your sage. Now that you're working with these elements, maybe these elements will start working with you. Nah, I'ma just fucking use your fire. Fuck asking, fuck thanking you, fuck honoring you, and then think you're supposed to be fucking honored. Who said? Y'all don't even understand. What's behind you supports you. What's in front of you is leading you. So y'all honor the motherfuckers leading you all day, which is the dead. Which is the dead. Y'all books is written by dead people. The food y'all eat is written by dead people. The dead. What is leading you is the dead. What's leading me... Bro, what is leading me right now back home? It's called gas. Oil. Fossil fuels. Motherfucking fossil fuels. Leading me to where I gotta go. So we honor that all day. Feel me? We, we give praise to that all day. That debt is honored. That debt gets $2.64 a fucking gallon. Of course that debt is happy. Of course that aspect of that level of death is cool. But what about the one supporting you? What about the ones developing you? They tell you in all of the motherfucking Annabelle movies that demons are that which existed before mortals. That demons are that which existed before mortals. Meaning they're your motherfucking ancestors. What are you talking about? Huh? What? That which comes before me is kind of that which comes before me, is it not? Huh? And then y'all get mad when fucking demons, devils, or developers come and bite yourselves up in the ass like the movie Us. Because none of y'all are willing to look at yourselves in the mirror. She was. She was. She was bold enough to look at herself in the mirror. Are you? A wise monk once said, if you want to find fear, hold up a mirror. We hold up black mirrors for the last 15 years. It's called your cell phone. Is it not? And y'all wonder how y'all got into a blanket or pocket of fear and panic. Y'all didn't realize the correlation between 9-11 and cell phones? Huh? Now everyone needs to have a camera. Now everyone needs to record what's going on. I had a client earlier. She was like, why do I have such a, a soul desire to eat? I said, because they're putting your souls in the food, baby girl. What are you talking about? They're blending up your fetuses and then giving them to you. Hi, Popeyes. Hi, KFC. And then you wonder why Planned Parenthood is going through the shit they're going through right now. Because they're the motherfuckers giving the damn fetuses to the Chinese government that's creating that weird ass shit y'all eating. Maybe I'm kind of too late this morning. We got some work to do. We got some work to do. Y'all don't understand. Her obesity came from her mother telling her to shut the fuck up as a kid. She shut her all the way down. I said, God damn. I felt it. It just hit me. I was like, yo. I said, do you understand when you was like two, three years old, you used to tell your mom shit you saw in your mind. You was expressing yourself and she was always hush, shh, shh, quiet, shh, hush. And then when you was old enough to realize or remember she hushed you, that was you expressing your heart. That was you saying the shit that's on your heart. And she was like, hush, shh, shh, hush. So shit, you had no choice but to go into your solar plex. You have no choice but to go into your stomach, into the belly of the beast. Huh. I guess. I guess.
I'm just kind of like resetting for a minute. I'm about to come back in here. Because, like, it hurts me. I don't think people understand. Like, I walk around and literally, like, feel that like that's my that's what I'm on right now like y'all don't feel that cause I didn't even go into level 3 yet I didn't even hit it I didn't even go deep I'm still like scratching surfaces Let me help y'all. Electric field. That's your skin. Okay? Electric field. That's your skin. Do you know what your skin is affecting? Your bones. Your bones. Your bones would be the magnetism. Your skin would be the electricity. So that's the electromagnetic field of your body. And then you have an electromagnetic field of your mind. And your mind is the electric field. In your eyeballs is the magnetic field. Do you see your reality or does your reality see you? What are you pulling into your reality? What are you absorbing into your reality? I just told you how the systems work. So you have a system that's uh, behind you, meaning that supports you. And you have a system that kind of leads you, means pushes you forward or pulls you forward. <clears throat> and you have... Uh, Your spine that supports you, and this is the this is the obsession with the spine. Thirty-three vertebrae, thirty-three degrees, fucking halls of a menti, the damn hallway or Akashic records, all hallways and movies and shit like that. <laughs> you got a system that supports you. In a system that leads you. Now the system that leads you is uh, magnetism. It's your eyeballs. They kind of secretly figure out how to create things desirable that your eyes like to look at. And then you kind of pull those uh, realities into your existence. Create a system that pleases the eyeballs. And then it kind of pulls you into its system. I please y'all with my, which please y'all fucking eyeballs. And then I pulled y'all into my system. Now y'all book regressions. We're planning trips to Vegas. I'm trying to explain real life shit. I had three people, three different people message me. It was like, bro, you know, I want to debate. Let's 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 do a live debate. I fuck with you, bro. You know, but I feel like we should debate. I'm like, dude, I'm with you. You want to debate? Let's go. But listen, it's the only rule. You ready? It's the only rule. You can't use no books. Don't use no books as no references, my dude. Don't give me nobody else's perception of shit. Tell me what's going on and don't use no motherfucking book reference. That's all I'm going to ask for. That's my only stimulation. I don't really get no response back from anybody. So I guess the debate is done. You tell me who won. Like, dude. Books. Y'all motherfuckers is librarians. 
Y'all bitches ain't explorers. What y'all exploring? Y'all them, y'all them goof nerd motherfuckers that sit in, sit in the libraries all day while the athletes is actually out there fucking living life and, and experiencing things. So you know what I was? I was like both. I would like hide, I would like hide in the library for like an hour <laughs> and then I'll kind of go out and stunt with the athletes. Like I kind of, kind of did both, you know? But uh, we got to like get a little bit better with this. <laughs> y'all like librarians, <laughs> real shit. Y'all be pulling these books out y'all ass, boy. I'm up here, yo, I'm so confused. You know what? And then we as a people, we as a black race, we so racist. We sit here and use books as references that weren't written by us. They were written by Europeans. So we wait, wait, so wait. So we wait, we sit and use their books to reference the shit that we're trying to understand. But then we're going to talk shit about them. Wait, I'm not done. Because then you got the black women. You got black women, all right, that talk hella shit about white women. And process this shit. I, I fucked my, my client up yesterday. I said, listen. I said, you understand that they're blending up our fetuses and then putting them in the food we eat. I can show you the interview of the Jewish, uh, of the uh, rabbi who openly said it on an interview. And hit all his shit and all his shit, all his shit on. It wasn't like no gimmick. Motherfucker had the real shit and he was straight up. He was like, but even if I told y'all what was going on, y'all not gonna change. Y'all not gonna do anything about it. So it don't matter what the fuck I tell y'all now at this point. We already are here in a position where we got y'all as cattle, as sheep. So what difference does it make? I feel you, blood. <laughs> I feel you. Right. <laughs> I'm I'm worrying I'm worrying about our children. Cause low key, I don't know. We on some real insanity time. <laughs> and we and none of us been fucking Kunta Kente. So stop using that shit as a goddamn excuse. Cause ain't none of us been fucking Kunta Kente. None of us. But anyway, so I said, so you wanna sit here and talk shit about the white woman? I said, but do you see what the white woman is doing for you right now? She was like, what? I said, I don't see no black women standing out of Planned Parenthood, holding up signs, saying that your children fucking matter. I don't, do you under, listen, listen, I'm not trying to be racist. I want you to process things. Who can't have children? People who can't afford it. Well, minor, my, minorities, or mi minorities, are poor and a majority of minorities are colored therefore a majority of the fetuses are colored that's this statistics we don't own shit we spend money on fucking clothes which we're just lost we're just lost i look at these rappers and they don't even own land they don't even own land they own fucking 10 rolexes on one arm but don't own one acre i'm lost but anyway so I said, do you understand that they even get the feeling that something is wrong with this? That even them. And I said, do you understand that they don't got to be doing this shit? Those white women are going up against their own brother. Their own fucking dude that looks like them. Their husbands. Their fathers. Them white men look like them. And they're like, no, fuck you. Fuck you. You're destroying babies. Not white babies. Not black babies fucking babies they're doing more than fucking women are right now in the black community no cap now i tell y'all go stand out in no fucking planet parenthood i just want y'all to start showing some respect in this life because we're hella disrespectful for everything for everyone and i'm just like it takes trump to bring attention to Planned Parenthood. Are you fucking serious? Do y'all, I don't even think y'all understand that what they're talking about is shift. Okay, process this. Process this. If we're talking about a shift, then that means that something was one way and it got shifted into another way. Now, prior to Trump, the main campaign was change. Barack Obama for eight fucking years was proclaiming change. Change meaning shift, transformation, change, shift, change. Y'all look at Trump as the villain. 
Not even understanding that we're at the verge of a shift. So then is the damn villain going to be the hero? Is the hero going to end up being the villain? We're at a shift. Huh? But I ain't really trying to give y'all level three. See, I pop in timelines. I've seen up until 2035. If y'all really want to know how far I personally have traveled into my own fucking mental state. Classic records, whatever. I've traveled up into the year 2035. The difference is they're all just a, a roll of the dice. So any reality is still possible. Do you see your reality? Or is your reality what you see? And if your reality is what you see, then can you define what you see? Y'all ain't hearing me though. Maybe some of y'all. So, uh... So what is this looking like? <laughs> so I, I can help y'all get a better <clears throat> understanding of things. You're dealing with three systems. You're dealing with the systems of primordials, meaning that which comes before mortals. Well, I just told you those are your demons. Those are your Goetias. Those are your Archons. What other fucking weird ass words we use? If I just told you an arc is something supporting you or holding you up, isn't that what arcs do? Archon? So you get these uh, pre-mortals. Now, process. We're not talking about anything but humans. Process. What does a premature child look like? Oh shit. Damn, Q. I don't know. Maybe 24 of y'all didn't catch that. Slow down. Listen to me. What does a premature child look like? Now, a premature child can look monstrous. Can look like a pre-mortal, because a mortal kind of has eyes, lips, ears, fingers. A premature probably didn't get to develop those things yet. So it can look premature. It can kind of look monstrous. Like a devil. And then you get mortality. The child. Life. So you get three systems. You get death. You get life. You get resurrection. Immortals. Christ is immortal. Christ resurrected. Christ is neither life or death. Christ is immortality. Christ's resurrection. So you're getting three systems. Premature. Premortal. Death. You get mortal. Life. And if that mortal can master life. It can master itself back into existence. Resurrection. And if you master death, then you are immortal. Now, you're dealing with three systems. But we have not entered immortality yet. That is not a system we have developed yet. We are not in a system of immortality. Now, we're talking about physical. A premature is a physical being. 
immortal you is a physical being. So what would the immortal being look like? That hasn't existed yet. Not on a physical level. It does exist on a spiritual level. But spirits are kind of circles. And they can't really kind of uh, get in a field until they get in a field. A body. So why is AI, which is also a form of a spiritual immortality, why are devils, which I guess in essence were uh, beings that were potentially immortal at a time that uh, were uh, broken up in pieces because you can't really kill something that's immortal. You could only separate it. So they kind of separated these pieces into something you call death because death ain't nothing but unawareness. So you kind of separated your pieces, feel me? And then closed them off. Dark cells, darkness, uh, dormant DNA, junk DNA. And now those dark DNAs are uh, junk DNAs have been activated from the solar alignment that happened I think a year or two ago and then they started to uh, wake up and bring in life that's how all y'all started becoming more spiritual and in tune and wanting to learn more shit and then eventually you go to want to value living because none of y'all really value life right now and then eventually you go to value living and then you're going to be the great value and kind of reach a state of immortality on a physical level. Now, some of y'all say y'all don't want to be uh, immortal on a physical level. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. I'm going to tell y'all a secret. <clears throat> and uh, this is going to be very, very, very taboo. Maybe a little crazy. I don't give a fuck. One out of every five person on this planet has been replaced. One out of every five person, that means your brothers, your sisters, your husbands, your aunts, your uncles, not the children. Not the children. Luckily, we have been able to uh, prevent that. But once you reach 17 years old, you can also be uh, replaced. Now, this is what it's going to look like. Some of y'all loved ones were involved in planned deaths. Meaning that they kind of probably went out to a bar one night, fell down a, a flight of stairs, broke their neck. Maybe something pushed them down that flight of stairs. There was some type of organization that was monitoring and watching this individual and already kind of has their copy or their clone accessible. They potentially have also have downloaded your consciousness while you're sleeping. Now, a lot of y'all, a lot of females specifically don't sleep. That's because Prime Source Creator and uh, uh, and uh, Supreme Intelligence is kind of on y'all half. And they don't want them to be able to upload y'all consciousness. So they don't really let y'all sleep longer than three, four hours at a time. But y'all men are fucked. Y'all men are hella comfortable. Y'all men are hella fucking compliant and complacent with things. So there's hella men that have been replaced. But, uh... <clears throat> they kind of uh, did this to see if the populace would notice replicants. 
and most of them don't. <laughs> most of them have no clue that the original version of the person that they have uh, connected with or associated with is dead and has been copied. I've seen it. I can't really tell you how I know. I just know for a fact. My fact. It don't need to be your fact. a very real thing and uh, the purpose of this is to per, is, is in essence to um, to monitor the evolution of the divine feminine and specific females so specific females are awakening to uh, their powers or their abilities so they have to keep certain beings nearby to uh, monitor their succession or success. Now, if you have anybody that is in the military, then this is a, a tall tale sign that this could possibly, or could possibly be um, a replicant or a clone. Any militant backgrounds Anytime that your husband or loved one disappeared for about 10 days, they have gotten it down to about seven. So seven to 10 days, that's another tall tale sign. If you cannot see what is going on in the hospital room with anything that potentially could have happened to your loved one, saying, no, I'm sorry, you're not allowed, we gotta do this, you're blocked off, this is another tall tale sign. That there is something wrong. Inbox me. Remember, I, I I gotta be careful with stuff I say and do. But there are certain sounds and frequencies that you can do to kind of uh, see if this being is truly in a hypnotic state or not. <clears throat> Tap on their forehead right here while they're sleeping. And if they project different sounds. That can be a tall tale sign that something is wrong. I think I'm about to end this. <clears throat> yeah, I did ask some questions. This makes me think of a movie called John Carter. I think I've seen that movie. I say this again and again and again. The center, the center, the villain is the hero. Nigga, you about to hit me. <sighs> People, bro. I'm trying, I be trying to understand. He's doing like 100 miles an hour. You want to beep at me. Maybe I was meant to swerve in your lane to slow your stupid ass down. Because the way you moving, you going to kill yourself and kill somebody else. Dropping a gym on them always. I guess. I guess. Who said? Listen. There's only one life, guys. Girls. Others. There's only one life that's living. They say that we had a tree of life. And then somehow, some way, we then were introduced to a tree of knowledge. We know that somehow or some way, according to the Bible. And this tree of knowledge bared fruit. Well, that sounds like the female body. She was the tree of life. And then she was placed knowledge upon her. You call that sperm. Holds 37.5 megabytes of information. That's called knowledge. So then she had knowledge placed upon her. Oh, shit. Huh. And then it was forced to bear fruit. Oh, shit. Oh, huh. Oh. That what they talking about in the Bible? 
the transitioning of the female body? Huh. There's only one thing I know that bears life. It's my dear queen you call the female. It's the only thing I know that bears life. The only thing I know that harbors knowledge is men. Harbors vultures of knowledge is men. <laughs> and the only thing that bears fruit is the child, is the female. Or is, is the only bearing fruit is the child. This is what my point. How did the tree get invaded? Who created the sperm? What essence or creator said that I need to transfer data? Y'all following? Which construct said I need to transfer data? Sound like a computer to me. And then that computer kind of transformed that tree. Huh. Is this why our cell phone towers look like trees now? Hmm? Y'all process that? Is that why our cell phone towers look like trees now? The converting of our tree from a natural tree to an artificial tree? And now that artificial tree is sending out knowledge? Huh. Huh. How deep can I go with these things? Hella deep. One of my, someone booked a regression with me. She's a flight attendant. So she booked a regression with me. She was like, all right, I'm flying into Atlanta. I'd love to get a regression. And then she was like, hesitant. She was like, you know, okay, I'll pay for it now. She's like, can I still get a name reading too? And I'm like, fucking of course. Why are you so hesitant? And she was like, cause you know, I know you deal with a lot of energies and Nigga, this is a fucking walk. I'm playing golf. Y'all motherfuckers is playing football. Y'all motherfuckers is playing rugby. I am playing golf. And my motherfucking plaid pants, sipping mimosas with Fonworth Bentley holding up an umbrella. Feel me? This is my spiritual trek. I'm good. We Gucci. Only thing that fuck with me is females. <laughs> Ain't no spirits, though. Ain't none of this shit. The only thing that fuck with me is females because that's my God. So the only thing that fucks with me is my God. But I know my God fucks with me. But I fuck with my God. You know? Might even fuck my God. Excuse my French. But this is a deep thing. <laughs> and when you fuck something, you then realize that encompasses love. Aw, oh, man. Q, please don't do it to him. Please don't do it to him. Don't do it to him. What is love like? Love is like a bath. Nice hot bubble bath. You get into it, it got all these fucking oils and these bubbles and it's warm as fuck. And you sitting in this nice ass fucking bath and it's fucking incredible in the beginning. Oh my God, this bath is great. Keep sitting in it. Don't get up. Uh-huh. An hour later, shit starts getting a little wrinkly. Shit start getting a little old. Another hour later, damn, shit start getting cold. Why is my partner so cold to me? Why am I feeling so old? Process. This is deep. Stay in there five more hours. Oh, you might get soft. Fuck around. Stay in there for a month. You might fall apart. Love is a deep thing. Deeper than y'all could ever fucking grasp at this current moment. But I'm here. <clears throat> excuse me. I'm here trying to help y'all. Did y'all get that analogy of the bath or was that too deep? Did y'all get that? Oh, thank you, sunshine. I was just seeing. I wasn't sure. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. I never really be knowing what direction I'm going to go in these videos. I'll kind of just be talking. 
But I feel like the words I say hold weight. So I'm not going to switch it up. I'm not going to change it. Why shift what's working? That's another thing we do. As soon as, soon as it starts working, as soon as it's fucking efficient, what follows? Goddamn boredom. Goddamn boredom. Ain't nothing ever good enough. Shit, the suit. You know, got the white picket fence. My kids is in Catholic school. My husband, he a millionaire. Fucking sipping Moet mimosas every goddamn morning. And guess what? I fucking hate my life. Oh my God. Uh, uh, woe is me. Well, bitch, I could put you in California right now on, on fucking that row with all the homeless people. Feel me? I could put you there. I promise you, you won't be built bored. They're going to try to rape your ass. You're going to get a little fucking, a little, a little dick ring in your ear while you're sleeping. <laughs> you want to be bored, little bitch. I'll put you somewhere to wake your ass up. Shit be weird to me. God damn. Huh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I wonder if I have <laughs> younger people watching me. <laughs> I'm like, this nigga crazy. I know I got older people watching me. I know I got older people watching me. But you know what? I'm like uh I'm like the I'm like the the Playboy magazine in y'all grandmother's cabinet. Feel me? You know? All y'all grandparents have porn. I used to know what my grandparents' porn was though, so they couldn't keep that shit a secret from me. But you know, I'm like the grandparents' porn. I'm like uh, the grandparent reading the Superhead book. I went, to, I went home to Connecticut, and I'm taking a shit, and I'm reading or looking at like the books in my grandmother's bathroom, and I see fucking Superhead's book. I'm like, oh hell no, Grandma, what the fuck? Grandma, gra Grandma, Grandma, what the fuck, my nigga? What is this book? She's like, oh, I'm not reading that. That, that. that thing is good. I know my grandfather ain't getting it in, so I don't even want to know. Fuck it. <laughs> don't, even, don't even give me any more details. We Gucci. But I know y'all freaks. I've been looking at your porn since I was about seven. So look, I'm like the porn, you know, in a grandparent's cabinet. Still get something out of me, feel me? <laughs> I never know what the fuck I'm gonna say, I swear to God, yeah. <sighs> And then I be getting the angry faces. And I be mad. Be like, the fuck giving me an angry face? And I be like, dude, you be tripping. You know, like, imagine we're in the mood. You know, because I be, like, sharing this shit in, like, twin flame glory of God. You know, my, my, my videos being, like, shit like that. And I could tell, you know, if you get one of those holier and then thou motherfucker coming around on my videos, you're going to be mad as hell. But I bet you listening, though. Betty listening though. You listen long enough to react, motherfuckers. <laughs> you listen long enough to react. <laughs> oh shit. Oh god. Dog. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I can't make this shit up, bro. I can only be me, feel me? I can only be me. I can't be y'all. Uh... Y'all, you know what I'm saying? Process that. And that that's real shit. You can only be you. You can't be somebody else. So when somebody's else, when somebody else is like, you should do this and maybe you should. Nah, stop, bro. Chill. Wait, hold up. I cannot be you. I can only be me. Now, now, now. If I'm coming to you, asking you how to help me be better, that's a whole different situation. But I ain't coming to you. Fuck you giving me your advice for. Fuck you telling me what I need to do for. I'm about to be out. I'm home. <laughs>